You've probably heard it before. Real hackers don't use Windows. It's a statement that echoes through tech forums and hacker conventions alike. But is that just a cliché, or is there a real reason behind it? Let's delve deeper into this intriguing topic. The operating system a hacker chooses is more than just a preference. It's about control, flexibility, and having the right tool for the job. It's akin to an artist choosing the perfect brush, or a chef selecting the finest ingredients. Think of it like a master mechanic. Would they want a garage where they can't move the tools or see the wiring? Of course not. They need a space where they can customize and optimize their workflow. Windows is great for everyday users. User-friendly, lots of software, and it just works. It's designed to be intuitive and accessible, making it perfect for general tasks and entertainment. But for hackers, those same features become obstacles, built-in safeguards, locked-down settings, and a philosophy of, we know what's best for you. These restrictions can be frustrating for those who need to push boundaries and explore the depths of their systems. Hackers need more than convenience. They need total control. They require an environment where they can tweak every setting, access every file, and modify every aspect of the system to suit their needs. So, let's get into the real reasons why the hacker community overwhelmingly favors Linux. It's not just about open source freedom, it's about the power to innovate without constraints. This isn't about looking cool. It's about fundamental differences in philosophy, architecture, and capability. Linux offers a level of transparency and customization that Windows simply can't match. We'll explore why having total control over your machine is a necessity for anyone serious about cybersecurity. In a world where digital threats are constantly evolving, the ability to adapt and respond swiftly is crucial Join us as we uncover the layers of this debate and understand why, for hackers, Linux isn't just an option, it's a necessity. Let's start with one of the biggest issues that hackers and power users have with Windows. It's closed source. That means the core code, the very heart of the operating system, is hidden away, locked behind digital doors that only Microsoft can open. Imagine buying a car, but when you want to look at the engine you find the hood is welded shut. You can drive it, sure, but you have no idea what's really going on inside, and you can't make any changes or repairs yourself. That's what using Windows is like for those who want to dig deeper. For hackers, understanding a system means getting down to the nuts and bolts, seeing how everything fits together. But with Windows, they're forced to work in the dark, reverse engineering the system, piecing together clues, and making educated guesses about how things work under the surface. It's a constant game of cat and mouse, and it's never truly complete. Linux, on the other hand, flips the script entirely. Its source code is open for anyone to see, study, and modify. If you want to know how something works, you just look. If you want to change it, you can. This openness is a game changer for anyone who wants to truly understand or improve their system. This level of transparency is a goldmine for hackers and security experts alike. They can comb through the code, searching for vulnerabilities, tweaking the system to fit their needs, or even rewriting entire sections to make it more secure or efficient. It's a playground for creativity and innovation. With Linux, you're not just a passive consumer, you're an active participant in a global community. You can contribute your own improvements, share discoveries, and collaborate with others who are just as passionate about technology as you are. For hackers, trust is everything. You need to know your tools inside and out. If you can't inspect the code, you can't be sure there aren't hidden backdoors or vulnerabilities lurking beneath the surface. The closed source model of Windows demands a kind of blind trust, expecting users to believe everything is safe and sound without ever letting them see for themselves. For hackers, that's a deal breaker. Open source systems like Linux let you verify, not just trust. You can check the code, test it, and make sure it does exactly what you want, nothing more, nothing less. That's why, for those who want to master their machines and truly understand what's happening under the hood, Linux isn't just an option. It's the obvious choice. Windows is secure, maybe too secure for hackers. Its security features, like Windows Defender and User Account Control, are great for average users, but a nightmare for hackers. Many hacking tools look like malware to Windows, so the OS constantly tries to block or quarantine them. Hackers end up fighting their own operating system just to get their tools running. 
Disabling security features is tedious and risky, often leaving the system unstable. Linux, on the other hand, assumes you know what you're doing. It gives you the freedom to run any tool, any time, as long as you have the right permissions. For hackers, this freedom is essential. They need an environment that enables their work, not one that fights against it. That's why the path of least resistance leads away from Windows. Most top hacking tools are built for Linux, not Windows. Distributions like Kali Linux and Parrot OS come preloaded with hundreds of specialized tools for everything from network scanning to digital forensics. Tools like Metasploit, Nmap, and Wireshark are native to Linux and run seamlessly. On Windows, these tools are harder to install, less stable, or missing features. Even with workarounds like Windows Subsystem for Linux, it's never quite the same. The global security community develops and shares new tools on Linux first. By using Linux, Hackers tap directly into this ecosystem, getting the latest updates and best support. Choosing Windows means isolating yourself from the cutting edge. For hackers, efficiency and community matter. That's why Linux dominates the hacking arsenal. In hacking, control is everything, and that means root access. On Linux, the root user has total power, read, write, delete, and modify anything. Windows has an administrator account, but it's layered with restrictions and constant prompts. Even as admin, some files and processes are locked down, requiring extra steps to access. Linux gives you the keys to the kingdom with a simple sudo command. Hackers need this level of freedom to run low-level tools, modify the kernel, or manipulate memory. The Linux philosophy. You own the machine, you control it. Windows' restrictive model just gets in the way. Hackers can't afford to be told access denied by their own system. True admin control is non-negotiable, and that's why Linux wins. Every hacker has a unique workflow, and Linux lets you build your OS to match. Need a lightweight, command-line-only system? No problem. Want to strip out unnecessary services for stealth and efficiency? Easy. A minimal Linux install uses fewer resources and has a smaller attack surface, making it harder to detect or attack. Windows, by contrast, is packed with background services and features you can't fully remove. Hackers can even run Linux from a USB stick for single-use missions, leaving no trace. Deep customization is a strategic advantage. Windows just can't compete with Linux's flexibility. For hackers, anonymity is survival. Windows constantly communicates with Microsoft, sending telemetry, checking for updates, and more. Every packet is a potential leak of identifying information. Linux only does what you tell it to. No secret data collection. Hackers can route all traffic through Tor or VPNs, confident nothing slips through. Specialized Linux distros like Tails are built for anonymity, forcing all connections through Tor and leaving no trace. It's the digital equivalent of a burner phone. Open source tools for stealth are community built and trusted. Windows chatty nature is a deal breaker for anyone who needs to stay hidden. Do hackers ever use Windows? Absolutely, but not as their main system. Most of the world's computers run Windows, so hackers need to understand it. The solution virtualization. Hackers run Windows inside a virtual machine on their Linux host. This lets them safely test exploits, analyze malware or mimic target environments. If something goes wrong, only the disposable VM is affected. Snapshots let them revert to a clean state instantly. Windows is used as a lab specimen, not the lab itself. Hackers study its weaknesses but retreat to Linux for real work. Windows is a research tool, not a command center. So why don't real hackers use Windows? It's a question that often puzzles many. The answer lies in the core principles that drive the hacking community. It's about control, flexibility, and stealth. These are not just buzzwords. They are the pillars of effective hacking. Hackers need to be masters of their machines. Windows closed source code and restrictive admin model get in the way. This lack of transparency and control can be a significant hindrance. Linux offers open source transparency and true root access. This means hackers can see and modify every part of the system, tailoring it to their needs. Flexibility matters. Hackers need a customizable toolkit and Linux delivers with specialized distros and endless options. From Ubuntu to Kali, each distribution offers unique features. Stealth is critical. Windows constant data reporting is a liability, while Linux lets hackers stay truly anonymous. Privacy is not just a preference, it's a necessity. 
For cybersecurity pros, the OS isn't just a platform, it's their most important tool. It needs to be reliable, secure, and adaptable to ever-changing threats. Only a system that offers complete control, limitless flexibility, and unwavering stealth will do. This is why Linux stands out in the cybersecurity landscape. That's why, for hackers, Linux is the only real choice. It's not just about preference, it's about necessity and efficiency. The myth isn't just about looking cool, it's about having the right tool for the job. A tool that empowers and enables. In the world of hacking, control is power. The ability to manipulate and command your environment is crucial, and Linux puts that power in your hands. It transforms the way hackers interact with technology, making it an indispensable ally in their digital endeavors.